third grade we are going to be making a line project. I like to kind of refer to this as line fireworks as if they're all exploding in front of us all different types of lines and you can see that it fills the entire paper up. So let's talk about markers. You can use any markers that you have thick thin smelly markers whatever you have at home that's fine you use those. We're gonna move this out of the way so I can get paper in here and you're gonna need a pencil so that we can write your name on your paper. We will not finish this project this art class so it'll take a little while to finish it's a two two day art project. Now you are going to find a black marker. That black marker you are going to be making five dots all spread out on your paper. So you can see they're going to be different sizes. They're not all the same and some are close together and some are a little further away. Again you want to try to spread them out over the paper and it's not an even thing. Yours don't have to look exactly like mine. Now you're going to grab another color of marker. So we're going to go around each of the dots with one type of line. So that same line will repeat. So I did zigzag here, I've done dash, straight, all different types. But again we want them to look like they're blending in and mixing together. So I'm going to start here on this dot and I think I'm going to go with zigzag. So it's going to go around my first dot. Then I'm going to go to another dot. I could choose to change colors or stick with that same one. And yes, you can turn your paper. So I'm going to do a dash line on this one. Again, color choices, all of those things are really up. To you. If you want to have more of a pattern, everything is the same repeated pattern, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. So I'm going to switch colors and I'm going to do a different type of line as we go along. So I am going to do my other two black dots starting those. You want to do a type of line around each one buff or you start adding more lines around each of the dots. So what I mean by that is put one type of line on each black dot then go back and repeat. So I've got those lines made on each of my black dots so I'm going to repeat those lines again and again using a variety of colors but I'm going to stick with the same lines. So like on this one, I'm going to do zigzag. You can see it doesn't match my original zigzag exactly. I just kind of do the best that I can. So I can use the same orange again and again. Greens instead of just one. I might do the green zigzag here and I keep doing that until I get it all filled up. So I'm going to keep working on mine and I'll show you what to do if they start bumping into each other. I've got some tight spaces happening right over here. This one is bumping into this one and this one's bumping into that and eventually they're going to all start to bump into each other and that's okay. So like for here this curved or bumpy line is bumping into this one so I chose to kind of stop it to make it look like it goes behind it. With this one I'm going to do the line and when I get to here I will stop. So no line will go over the top of another line. So I might use this. When I come to the edge if it looks like I go off then I just let it go off. So that's what will happen kind of there and that just bumps into it. This one with this purple 
section it goes and again it doesn't overlap it when it comes to it it just stops and everything just kind of blends and mixes together as it's going along so if I make a really thick zigzag it would have bumped into that one so I have to just kind of continue those to there and just kind of think it through you don't want your lines to overlap so you might have some sections that just kind of fill up very quickly like you can't even see those lines really that are there because this is a really thick zigzag and it would just continue on there so you have to do a little bit of thinking when you're letting these lines come together and again you don't want them to overlap onto another line so you want them to bump up against each other so you go until you fill the entire paper that goes all the way off the edge.